What's up you guys? So I am going to add a, another little piece to my room. It's another DIY, much like the shells that I had showed you guys. Now a while back I had received a very, very cool drawing from an artist who has followed the show for quite some time and it is of a walleye. Now this is no ordinary walleye. This walleye carries a hidden message right there if you can see that. But he had also requested that I take some time and go ahead and color it. And that's what I'm going to do. And now my original intention was to frame it, but unfortunately we had measured the picture incorrectly. And so, if you look, you can see that it doesn't entirely fit into the frame that we had purchased. But, having it rolled up in my closet, storing it for the time being until I had somewhere to put it, it has given it a bit of a curve. Now when I put the picture frame in front of it, it gives it a quite interesting look. It's kind of like a little aquarium with a walleye in it. So, I've got an idea and I'm gonna go ahead and carry out my idea, see how it turns out. So, we're gonna start out just by coloring this walleye picture. It's gonna take a little while, but we're gonna go ahead, have some fun, and get right to it. So, let's go. So about an hour and a half later, I think I'm just about done. I'll probably add a few more little things here and there, but I'm pretty pleased with how it's looking. But I'm going to go ahead and add a layer of glue now to where the sand is, and I will sprinkle some sand that I've got onto this little area, and it'll look like a realistic sandy bottom. So we'll go ahead and get that done. what it's looking like so far and the glue is almost dry and it is time to go ahead and attach it to the frame the base and then we will make a top for it so we've got the frame here and I'm just going to take a hot glue gun and secure it to the frame on each side and then as roundly as possible secure it to this bottom piece and then we will trim it off and we'll go from there So one stick of hot glue later, I've essentially created a seal along here to hold in any sand. So now we're going to go ahead and attach the frame to it. So we've got the frame hopefully secured pretty well. I've got it glued on on both sides and now it's time to add the fun part. So I went over to the lake and had myself a bit of an adventure. I found a turtle. So we found a very mellow turtle. Looks to be a red-eared slider. But this guy was just sitting in the sun. It's been kind of cold lately. So just catching some rays. Go ahead and put him back now. He's been very cooperative. There you go, buddy. I saw an amazing sunset. And while I was there, I picked up little bits and pieces that I can add to this frame. So I've got like a little aquatic bush here, got some clam shells, some driftwood. So we're gonna go ahead and be a bit creative, fill this up with sand, and add little bits and pieces. So I've broken off some pieces of this little aquatic bush in order for it to fit. So I'm just gonna add a whole bunch of hot glue to the bottom in order to secure it. I think this little corner looks pretty cool. 
in there, rotate it. The main branch is secured now to look like little bits of vegetation that has died. And now it is time to add some sand. Hopefully I can keep from making a mess. I already have more sand in my room than the average person. front little piece torn off and now we are just going to add a few more twigs and whatnot wherever I think they look presentable. Take a few of my clamshells that I've collected, toss them in, and a piece of driftwood. It's kind of like making an aquarium. Aquascaping. Alrighty guys, and I'm thinking we're all finished up. Uh, the last finishing touches, I just went ahead and hot glued a piece of twine rope that I had made the same way that I made the grass rope in that wild size tutorial. Glued that along the bottom to cover up the cardboard and put two clinch knots, the knots that I use for fishing, on the sides. And I think it looks pretty cool. But I am hoping to install some sort of roof with lights. Honestly, I think it looks a lot better than if we were to have just hung it up like the initial plans. I'm glad that I went ahead and did it, and now I'm going to clean up all the sand on my floor. But I hope you guys enjoyed that little adventure. I know I had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Thank you for watching, and ta-ta!